So about a week or so after I had hit up Foundation on Instagram, we booked a studio session and he came through the studio. Really, I hadn't prepared too much for it, but luckily that morning I had heard a baseline idea in my head. So like right as he was pulling up to the studio, I had laid down this baseline and this drum pattern. And that was really the foundation for Got Nothing For You. Long run, make plans for my own sons. Own sons, don't want to see it lonesome. Lonesome with no one to hold on. Hey. So the first sound that I laid down was this bass line. So once I laid that down, the next thing I added before Foundation actually walked into the studio was these drums. And then I also added this hi-hat loop on top of that, one of my favorites. And once I added that, I added another shaker just for a little more texture. A live open hat. So once Foundation pulled up to the studio, this is what he wrote most of his verses in the hook to. And so that's where we left it for that day, but I asked him specifically if I could pay my guitar player Mike to come in and lay down some stuff over top of this. So I took it over to Mike's studio and he right away just accented the bass line that I did with some really heavy guitars. And then on top of the bass, here's what those sound like. So after that, we have this little, call it a chicka guitar, just add a little bit of steady rhythm on top of the percussion we already have, but with his guitar. So here's what that sounds like. So after he put those down, I gave him a reference for King Kunta by Kendrick Lamar, and I wanted some of the guitars that were in that song, I, there was a specific tone that I showed him that I wanted for this part. After he put that one down, he layered another one underneath. Sometimes when I'm with Mike, he just has ideas that I'm like, bro, just go for it. Like, not all these were things that I knew we were going to put on it. So this is definitely an idea he had. This is called a fall. <laughs> The next element that I added to the A section was this synth. And after I added that, I added a pad. After the pad, because we didn't have enough layers in the song already, I added a harp. And 
And so this is really what Foundation recorded over. Let me show you guys to put some vinyl in there. It's a major key for any beat that you do. You should put some sort of atmosphere in it, whether it's vinyl, rain, bird, something, just to add a little bit of a real environment to the music that you're making. So after that, Foundation laid down his vocals and then we had a crazy session where we brought in a saxophone player and we had people do a bunch of gang vocals on it. Here is what the sax that my guy AP laid down. So yeah, I literally just let him rip through the song, just play a bunch of parts. And then as you can see later on, there was a few spots that I rearranged things, but for the most part, just his spontaneous interpretation over this song that he did, and it, it fit really well. So after that, we went on to gang vocals. I got nothing for ya. So let me put Foundation's vocals in with this so you can kind of hear the difference it makes just to have their layers over top. So here's what it sounds like with his vocals. Tell me what you want from me. I got nothing for ya. Tell me what you want from me. I got nothing for ya. Tell me what you want from me. I got nothing for ya. And that was an idea that we had had from the beginning, but we had at least four or five people in the studio all just singing into one mic, and then we just doubled it and then panned it left and right. And so for the B section, the first thing that I started off with for this was a Rhodes chord progression. Have these drums. So after those parts were in there, when I was at the studio with Mike, I had him play some diamonds over that. Once we had those diamonds in, I knew that I wanted some sort of Spanish guitar in there. But even though we were in a studio with thousands of dollars worth of gear, Mike told me that he wanted to record it on his phone, but it turned out to be the right decision because it, it sounded great. So that night when we were there, this guy named Jonathan, he was there to sing vocals on this song and another song. He actually let us know that he had some piece that he felt like could sound really good over this. And so we just put him right up to the microphone and just let him go and it fit perfectly. So this is what Jonathan laid down as the last little outro kind of verse for the B section. Oh, yeah. Looking at the people, looking on the street, looking at the obstacles that make me wanna freak. Looking at the people, looking on the streets, looking at the promises that keep me on my feet. Looking at the people, looking on the street, looking at the obstacles that make me wanna freak. Looking at the people, looking on the streets, looking for the impossible to have my soul to keep. And so when I was making that little delay thing at the end, I'd initially tried to use actual delays and it wasn't giving me the vibe I wanted. So I came right in here and just chopped up my little keeps and just put them in the actual pockets that I wanted because using it with just a normal echo, it just wasn't sounding how I wanted to. And that was how we made Got Nothing For You. Me and Austin was working on a couple of songs. Uh, Got Nothing For You was one of them. 
he had it started off with like a drum sample and he had chopped it up and then after that he immediately put like a bass line on it but the bass line was really funky it reminded me some old school funk vibes like a funk devil parliament or something like that and then he got got this guy called Mike, so we paid him for a guitar session. KG, AP came in, I brought him in with the saxophone, and the vocalist, and we did the game vocals as well. And it turned out to be really dope, uh, and that's how I got Nothing For You came about. Hey, I gotta do it for my people now. Hey, all we wanna see is freedom now. Hey, gotta do it for my people now. Hey, all we wanna see is freedom now. Freedom now, tell me what you want from me. I got nothing for ya. Tell me what you want from me. I got nothing for ya. 